An American citizen may soon be in the crosshairs. According to senior U.S. officials, the Obama administration is considering a drone strike to kill an American citizen overseas who's involved with al-Qaeda and suspected of plotting attacks against the U.S. Now, we don't know who the suspected terrorist is or where he, we assume it's a he, could be a she, but we assume it's a he, is living. But lethal military force can only be used when there is proof of imminent danger against U.S. citizens. And there's no chance of capturing them. Out front tonight, General Spider Mark, CNN military analyst with deep operational and combat experience with drones. I know you've been in the room when these decisions are made. But let me just start off with this. First of all, what's, what's your point of view? Should this be something that the U.S. does? By the way, we've done it before. Aaron, we should. That's a capability the United States has, and it should be kept in the discussion as an option to go after folks like this. And individuals, again, the discussion becomes very legal, whether they're a U.S. citizen or not, and where they're located and what their activities are. So you get into the discussion of the levels of detail in terms of intelligence. Mm -hmm. But the short answer is yes. It needs to remain in the discussion as a so, capability to be used. All right. So for the president, in that big speech he made about drones, um, it was kind of a lot of pomp and circumstance and then nothing sent. So he said killing an American with a drone strike is un unconstitutional without due process. Um, but he did justify drone strikes. And let me just ask you, because you've been in the room when decisions are made on whether to strike somebody, right? And yeah. tell me who's in the room. There's lawyers in the room. I mean, how does that qualify I'm as satisfying due process? Well, the, def the definition of due process has to be provided by a lawyer, but having been involved in discussions on the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, and in terms of their capabilities to strike or not to strike, there's always legal representation in the room and the operational commander at various uh -huh. levels that makes the go, no go decision. So the lawyers are talking to not right. only the intel guys, but also the guys that ultimately give the decision on pulling the trigger. So there yeah. is a legal determination. And, and wrapped around all of this, Aaron, is a discussion of collateral damage. That is, who else is potentially right. going to be damaged or hurt as a result of this discussion well, or there's this strike? Also, there's also the fact, and I've, I, you know, people have, have laughed at, at, at this point, but to me it's very important. And that is, if you're going to have a conversation about whether it's okay to kill an American who happens to be overseas, who's plotting attacks against America, suppose that person was sitting in Des Moines or in Washington, D.C. All of a sudden people go, oh, well, that would be ridiculous. We would never do it. Intellectually, it's the same person plotting the same thing. If we would would kill them with a drone overseas, it would only be intellectually consistent to be willing to do it on American soil. My answer to that is why not? You're exactly correct. In fact, go back to 1996 with Timothy McVeigh and the Murrah building in Oklahoma City and the great tragedy that occurred in that. Here's, let's, let's assume for a second that drone technology existed. It did not in sufficient precision and detail back then, but let's assume intelligence was known about McVeigh, his, U, his a rental truck was in route the Murrah building. We knew and positively identified that he was in the vehicle. It was ready to explode, and it was moving in the direction of the Murrah building. Why wouldn't we have used okay. a drone to go after that thing instead of putting a bunch of law enforcement folks at risk to stop that building, I mean, to stop that, uh, that vehicle? Right. It would have made perfect sense to use a drone. And, and, and we'll leave everyone with that because it certainly makes people think about that. I know public opinion is still against strikes on American soil, but, but again, there's an example, and it would be intellectually consistent. Thanks very much to you, General. Always good to talk to you. Sure, and thank you.